You're watching Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, we're going to take an inside look at our NFL Daily program over from our main Chat Sports channel as we answered some Q&A mailbag questions today. A lot about your Baltimore Ravens and what they could potentially do in free agency. We'll go over all of that and more coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, a reminder, want to make sure you subscribe to Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. We're getting oh so close to 15.5K subscribers on the channel, less than 20 away from reaching that next milestone. For the latest happenings on your favorite team, daily news and rumors, Q&A mailbags, we're talking draft, free agency, trades, and more. We are your Ravens offseason headquarters. Subscribe now for free, and we'll get started with today's show. First question comes in from not Mark Wahlberg. So I guess I won't be getting a Wahlberger then. Uh, what are some potential good fits for Saquon Barkley? Uh, not Mark Wahlberg. Very good question. Uh, first team that comes to mind right away is the Baltimore Ravens. You look at the Baltimore Ravens, and all signs, all indications we've been told are that the Baltimore Ravens are going to make a splash at the running back position. Derrick Henry seems to be the favorite, but I think Saquon would be intriguing. I think Josh Jacobs would be intriguing. Uh, another team that comes to mind is the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, they have Pacheco and Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, but no offense to Pacheco, but I don't feel like he's a true number one running back. He's not a feature back. I know he's won two Super Bowl titles and all that, so you might say I sound crazy, but could you imagine if the Chiefs, added Saquon to the mix here? That'd almost be unfair uh, if he was a part of the equation there. What about the Dallas Cowboys, too? Tony Pollard about to hit free agency. Cowboys, we know they want to run the football. Mike McCarthy's made that clear. Dak, I don't trust him enough to throw 40-plus times a game. I like Dak personally, but not, not like that. you got to have a very good running back. I think Saquon could fit Dallas, potentially. Where will Saquon Barkley sign in NFL free agency? Name a team that comes to mind. Our pin comment today, weigh in. Tell us what you think, where Saquon will go. Lee Corso is elite, right? So where do you think Josh Allen ends up? So this is not the Buffalo Bills quarterback, full disclosure. Uh, I assume he's talking about the pass rusher from the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, because Josh Allen, the quarterback from Buffalo, is not going anywhere. As far as Josh Allen, the pass rusher goes, Baltimore is certainly a possibility. I think you look at other teams that have money to spend, that need help at edge. The, the commies, the Washington Commanders are a possibility. The Chicago Bears are another possibility here. Josh Allen's got an, a unique opportunity to cash in. This fella had 17-plus sacks in 2023. He's all that in a bag of chips, okay? Somebody is going to pay this guy top dollar and if I was in position to be writing those checks, but unfortunately I cannot cash checks I do not write, um, I'd be paying Josh Allen. I'd want him on my team. I don't think the Jags are going to be in a position to be able to afford Josh Allen because, remember, they still got to pay Trevor Lawrence here pretty soon as well. Um, but those are the teams that come to mind at this point. We'll see exactly what they do. Where will Josh Allen sign in NFL free agency? Will it be? Baltimore, will it be Washington, Chicago, somewhere else? Way in the comment section, give me a team that comes to mind of where you think Josh Allen is going to end up. NFL hats are on sale now, and here's what we're offering here, folks. Listen to me very, very closely here. We're offering some of these hats that you're seeing on your screen and many others for up to 50% off. But that's not all, folks. Now I get to channel my inner Billy Mays here. We are also offering free shipping on some of these hats as well. So you might as well go check them out for yourself. See if you want to get a hat of your favorite team. Find a style that works for you. Chatsports.com slash NFL hats to get yours today. Limited time only. While supplies last, get yours now. Find your favorite team. Go get that discounted hat. All sorts of different combinations to choose from. Chatsports.com slash NFL hats. Get yours now. 
What team do you predict T. Higgins going to? The Cincinnati Bengals? <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that, but I got to tell you, for as much hype and as much talk there is about T. Higgins and all this, I think the Cincinnati Bengals are going to find a way to keep T. Higgins around. If they have to move on from Tyler Boyd, so be it. Um, T. Higgins, they are going to hang on to. I think they give him the franchise tag and then just kind of kick the can down the curb to getting a deal done, essentially, for T. Higgins. It may not even be this offseason that they get the long-term deal done, but they do what they can to keep him. I'll say this much, though. I expect the franchise tag on T. Higgins and for the Bengals to control his future and where he goes, right? T. Higgins isn't walking out that door to go play for the Baltimore Ravens. The Cincinnati Bengals are going to do everything in their power to stop that from happening, okay? Um, T. Higgins is going to go where the Bengals want him, whether it's a trade somewhere and he leaves the division or likely the AFC, or it's going to be a situation where they find a way to keep him and get a long-term deal done. That's what I envision with, uh, with T. Higgins there. Next question. Uh, so we asked you about uh, T. Higgins. How about this from Elmo? Elmo's world. Elmo's world. That's pretty good. Who is the most coveted NFL free agent? I think it's Kirk Cousins, if we're going to be frank. Because um, what does every team in the National Football League need? Every team needs a quarterback. Now, not everybody necessarily – Needs a quarterback at this moment. You may already have your guy, but it's the position you can't do without. And if you look at the QB market, no one is even close to as good as Kirk Cousins is. And he's looking at commanding anywhere from 30 to $45 million, and it's just going to be hard for the Minnesota Vikings to come up with that cash when they still have to pay Justin Jefferson and, and a couple other guys as well. Uh, I, I think that we're going to see Kirk Cousins – cash in, get that one final payday. He wants that guaranteed money. Atlanta is the team I got my eye on because that team is stacked. They're a quarterback away from being the favorites in that division. Atlanta is intriguing for me. Don't sleep on them. Cousins is the guy to watch for. We'll see how uh, that ends up. Elmo wants lemonade. Was that good, Elmo, the pressure there? Very good. Ken writes in. Well, Justin Fields end up with the Atlanta Falcons. I think he's the Falcons' backup plan. If I'm the Atlanta Falcons, I would think that they try for Cousins first because you don't have to give up draft capital um, to bring in Kirk Cousins. You just got to pay him a whole lot of dough, right? And you already know what he is. Justin Fields, we're trying to figure out who is Justin Fields. Who is Justin Fields, right? It, it almost sounds like a, a deep... Uh, question of some sorts, you know, like like I'm Jordan Peterson or something here. Um, we don't know who Jordan, who uh, Justin Fields is. He's shown flashes, but he's never been consistent. He was in a horrible system in Chicago under Matt Everflus, had an awful offensive line. His skill position players were up and down. I don't know how good Justin Fields is. If we're trying to go based on the safe bet, it's Cousins. If you're trying to go based on the most potential, it's Justin Fields. And think about this. The management that's in place in Atlanta now, those same guys had the opportunity to go after Justin Fields when he was a rookie. They didn't like him back then. Do you like him more now? I don't know about that. So we'll see. Ken, thanks for the question. Jenkins Gaming. Uh, is that World of Warcraft? Okay. I don't think I've ever played World of Warcraft, to be honest. Uh, Cowboys pay Dak or let him walk? Your thoughts? Look, every team in the league is trying to go for a top 10 quarterback. Dak is right there. And Dak had a really good regular season last year. Could have been the MVP. Playoffs didn't work out, but I think that's more on McCarthy. I don't see Dak going anywhere. Um, I think Dak very well might end up playing his entire career with that star next to his helmet here. Cowboys have some issues to work through. Dak Prescott is not one of their bigger issues. Um, 
I understand that he's got to step up and he's got to play better come playoff time, but they got bigger issues than Dak. I, I expect him to get a new deal and stay, stick around for a while. Last question from Kevin. What player do you think will be the biggest free agent signing? Um, so I told you the most desired would be Cousins. The biggest is going to be what happens with Chris Jones. Um, do the Chiefs keep him around? Does he go somewhere else? What about that money he was making? I know that he made those comments at the Chiefs parade that he wanted to stick around and all that, but he didn't make those comments sober either. I think that's worth noting, okay? Um, Chris Jones, I think, is the most underrated player in the NFL. He is a first bout Hall of Famer. He has been a crucial piece to all three of the Chiefs Super Bowl titles. And anybody would be lucky to have him. And think about this. If the Chiefs can't pay him, if you're Chris Jones, it's no hard feelings if you decide to go elsewhere. You're like, you know what? I got my three rings. This is my last chance to get a big payday here. It's not a foregone conclusion he's back in Kansas City. Watch out for where Chris Jones goes. Name a player you want your team to sign. An NFL free agency. Give me a name or two that comes to mind that you'd like to see on your favorite team in 2024. Weigh in, tell us in the comment section, let us know, and we'll see you next time.